Hey, what's up everybody? Chad here with another collaboration video. Joe Anthony and I decided to team up again, but we decided to ask another great reviewer, a fellow friend. This guy's from the UK, he goes by Greggy Boy, for our top five winter night out fragrances. So let's get this started, okay? So my top five are, number one would be Bulgari Black, the good old hockey puck, the tire if you want to call it. The opening is a little tough, a little it can be a little strong. It's got that rubber, that tire feel, um, but during the dry down, it's really, really nice. It's a sensuous vanilla, very sweet. It really makes it worth it. One of my personal favorites. I really like to wear this when it gets cold. Another one would be Givenchy Play Intense. Hopefully, the camera can pick that up. It's very sweet. It's not overly bearing, but it's nice. It's got that coffee note. I get a little bit of a gourmand um, vibe from it. Very nice, great for sweetness. It brings out your playful personality. One that's, it could be really strong, but it came out a few years ago and it get, it's getting a lot of love. And that is good old Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. This has a lot of cinnamon. It could be really, like I said, it could be strong. So if you over apply, you're gonna be hit, hitting everybody in the room, but also yourself. Great fragrance. I'm glad I gave this one a shot when I bought it. Love it. And the packaging is brilliant. If you wanna dress up, you know, and be a little bit more sophisticated, this is a great fragrance. This screams sophistication, maturity, and, and it's a gentleman smell. Michael Kors for men. It's got a lot of incense, got a lot of tobacco with some spices. That's what I get. It's a little strong, kind of reminds me of an 80s powerhouse to some degree, but it's not as in your face. This is a great night out uh, for dinners, for parties, for even clubs, or even lounges. You'll definitely stand out if you wear this one, all right? And my last for top five favorite, this one doesn't get a lot of uh, talk about in the community, and that is Christensen New York. It's a very sexy fragrance. Like, I love Perrier Alessand for the summertime. This is my winter sexy fragrance, my top one. This is Perrier Alessand for the wintertime, in my opinion. It's got uh, some amber, some spices. It's hard to describe, it really is, but it's just, it's sexy as can be. So guys, that is my top five favorites for uh, Winter Nights Out. Greg, take it away, buddy. Thanks a lot, Chadster. Some nice picks in there, mate. I think probably Bulgari Black out of your picks was my favorite, but some under the radar ones, as you always come up with, always like to watch your selections. So I'm gonna pick, now give you guys my five picks for top uh, Winter Night Out fragrances. So number one, this is one that I've actually really recently reviewed. This is Marc Jacobs Bang. To show you the bottle look at the detail on that absolutely beautiful bottle so this one is all about pepper it's got black pepper pink pepper um, and white pepper in here one of the other key characteristics is a really sort of damp mossy wood smell it's like damp cedar moist cedar and you've got vetiver and patchouli in here it's quite linear to be honest but very well blended really caught me by surprise love this one wearing a lot of it so that's Mark Jacobs bang second one on my list this is one that's getting very hard to find now. This is a Gucci fragrance, and this is from the days when Gucci actually used to make decent fragrances. Gucci Envy. I've only just picked this up actually. I'm going to take the lid off, which is easier said than done, just so that you can see that beautiful green juice in there. So yeah, it's probably one of the two best Gucci fragrances ever released in my opinion. Gucci Pour Homme, the original being the other. Right, Gucci Pour Homme 2 is great as well. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much about this because I'm going to do a full review, but this one's centered around ginger and incense. You also get vanilla, amber and woods in there, but a whole lot more as well. It's really well blended and it's really complex fragrance and I love this one. So that's Gucci Envy, that's my number four. Number three, this is from the Bikillian house. I'll show you the 
the bottle first. This is the travel atomizer. Look at the beautiful detail on there. And the fragrance is straight to heaven. This is the pick from the line for me. The line is Louvre Noir or Louvre Noir. Uh, and that contains your black to blacks and your prelude to loves, etc. This is the only one that's really bottle worthy for me. So this is a rum based fragrance. Starts off real boozy rum accord. You get lots of cedar, you get patchouli, you get some nutmeg. It's quite, it's, it's, it's fruity, it's musky, it's boozy, just beautiful fragrance. And definitely suggest you get your nose on it because probably in my top three or four personal fragrance favourites of all time. So that's Straight to Heaven by by Killian. Number two on my list, it's one that won't come as any surprise and people, you will all know this one. This is Thierry Mugler Amen Pure Malt or Angel Men Pure Malt. Not one of my absolute favourite fragrances but for winter's night out, which this video is about, this is perfect. So it smells like Scotch whiskey that's been aged in wooden casks and that's what it's basically trying to do. Very boozy fragrance, got some vanilla and other things in there but perfect for a winter's night out. It's got the DNA of the original Amen or Angel Men but it's different enough on its own to stand up as fragrance. It's a perfect, it's exactly what a flanker should be. A really good fragrance, that's Angel Men Pure Malt by Thierry Mugler. And number one on my list, this is from Master Perfumer Maurice Roussel and this is his finest creation in my opinion. Bond number nine, New Harlem. This is the one that everyone talks about being like syrup and cinnamon pancakes. Now definitely syrup and cin cinnamon, you get that from it. You also get really smooth, fresh coffee beans and lots of lavender. A similar fragrance to another Maurice Roussel fragrance called Rochard Man, but this one is the big daddy of that. This is like a, a late bottled vintage port to Rochard Man being a ruby port. Everything in here is better, than, and they are. there are distinct differences between them as well. They're not identical, they're just similar. Um, so there you go, my top pick, Bond number 9, New Harlem. So thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, thanks to Chad, um, and thanks to the man that I'm now going to pass you over to. Those two guys asked me to be in this video. Um, two top guys. I'm going to pass you over now to Joe Anthony. Cheers, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Greg, for that introduction. What's going on everybody? Joe here today. Also got to mention, Greg, I got to check out that by Killian. And definitely Chad, I will be checking out that Christensen New York. Great choices. It's my turn. It's actually pretty cold in winter this year. This is actually going to be a cold winter for Atlanta. What I'll be wearing during those winter nights when I want to be really sexy. Number one, I'm going in backwards order. So number one, you probably know it. Cafe Rose from Tom Ford. Super sexy, sexy rose with a little bit of powder, a little bit of incense. This is mostly a pretty much a rose bomb and it has a little bit of coffee. But it doesn't live up to the cafe of coffee kind of vibe. Like it's not a dominant coffee note. But there's coffee in there. Number two, I will be wearing Prada Amber Pour Ohm Intense. Really sexy, slightly soapy, a little bit of citrus is also in the introduction. Um, incense, you're going to get a little bit of like vanilla tonka kind of thing. It's kind of resinous. It, it has a lot going on. It's definitely not like the regular product Amber Poem that was soapy. So, this will be number two that I'll be wearing a lot of product. Number three is one of my more recent purchases and I love this juice. This is great stuff and I even love the bottle. Eat All by Luban. Um, boozy, just rum and rum and rum with woods and leather. Just sexy stuff. Um, gorgeous bottle. This is the EDP version. They have an EDT. This is EDP. Number three, Eat All by Luban. Number four still is pretty underrated, and which is surprising because it shouldn't be. It is a flanker. The original is a classic or semi-classic. 
This one is better than the original, in my opinion, and in the eyes of a lot of other people. Let's get this. Get let's let's make a push for Armani Code Ultimate, aka Code U. Slightly powdery, citrus, Tonka kind of vibe. Good stuff. Better projection, better overall performance than the regular code. Code you at number four. And finally, this scent is different. I do not recommend anybody blind buy this scent the way I did. I almost thought I would have bit shot myself in the foot, but I really grew to love this scent rather quickly in the short amount of time that I have it. This was another recent acquisition of mine. And it's coming from the underrated niche house. Imaginary Authors, Cobra and the Canary. I really like this juice. I like this juice. And Memoirs of a Trespasser would have fit this role, but I like this because I like to be different and like just completely unique. Not sometimes I want to be daring sexy. And this is that. You're gonna get lemon citrus kind of vibe you're gonna get some tobacco leaf you're gonna get some um asphalt which makes it kind of smoky slightly powdery but all in all it's a good scent and there's leather in here too um try the line guys the whole house is just amazing but this one is my personal favorite from the line just because i like weird stuff so there are my top five for the winter nights of 2013. Thank you, Chad, again. Thank you, Greg, for getting me involved in this collaboration. This was awesome. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what your top five cents are for the winter nights. Let me know any thoughts. Let us know any thoughts, any opinions. Let us know anything. All right. I'm Joe, and I'll see you all later.